In this video, we're going to be creating a very simple dashboard in Python. So I have a Jupyter Notebook open here. I'm doing my, in my import. So I'm importing pandas, matplotlib, seaborn, um, matplotlib inline just to make sure the uh, graphs come out in the page. And then I'm importing warnings as well to get rid of warnings. So here's my data set that I'm using today. This is every player that scored a goal in Euro 2016. Just because Euro 2020 is on at the moment, uh, I decided to just use this data set um, as a simple data set. So this data set has a lot of different stats on each of the player who scored a goal, but we're only interested in four today, the name of the player, the nationality of the player, and then two of their scoring attributes and their assist attributes. So assists overall and goals overall. So I'm gonna make my import now. So it's df equals pd.read csv. So this CSV is available on the GitHub, the link's down below if you want to try it out yourself, but I've just called it goals.csv. And this doesn't import the first time because of the encoding. I think there was some problem with the encoding on a, a couple of the names. So I just changed this to encoding equals Latin dash one. And this is just something um, I found off Stack Overflow. If you have a problem like this, just search the error on Stack Overflow and you'll come up with a solution. So let's see what this data looks like. So we're just gonna look at the head of the data, which will give us the first five rows. So five rows and 41 columns. So what we wanna do is pare this down into a few columns. So I've gone df.columns and I've got all the names of my columns. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go uh, df. Pl a df underscore player equals um, df and then I'm doing two square brackets and I'm just putting in the, the names of the columns that I want to retain. So I've got full name, I have nationality and it's good to just paste these from above because at least you know the name of the column is 100% correct and I'm going to go for goals overall and assists overall. So just to make sure that I have the correct um, data, I'm looking at the head of that and that looks fine. And now I want to filter out so I can get enough data points just for a nice graph. So I'm looking for five or six data points. So I'm filtering this on a uh, DF player and then DF player where goals overall is greater than two. And that looks fine. That's gonna fit on a nice bar graph. And I'm going to do the same for assists. So instead of goals overall, I'm filtering this on assists overall. And the number of assists is too low at two. So I'm just going to go players with more than one assist. Um, and that looks okay for graph as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to do four graphs all together. So the first is the player assists, the player goals. And this one is country assists and country goals so what i have to do here is i have to do df country equals df group by nationality so what i'm doing is i'm taking the 70 odd players and i'm grouping them into nationalities and to do this you go group by nationality as index equals false and then dot ag which is dot aggregate and that's aggregate the goals overall uh, and you do this in a dictionary so the goals overall is a sum and then as many aggregations as you want, you can just put a comma in and go for that. So I'm gonna go for assists overall is a sum as well. And what this will do is this will give us a new data set, which has the nationality, the total goals, and the total assists per nationality. So let's have a look at this. This is a df underscore country dot head, and it's exactly what I wanted. So I've got the nationalities, the goals and assists, and I'm gonna look for the number of goals and assists that can fit into my bar graph. So it's three for country. I'm gonna take the same thing down below and look for, I want a number of goals to fit in a bar graph as well. So goals is a little bit higher because you can see that some of the countries scored a lot of goals. So I'm gonna try five for this, more goals than five, and that looks good enough. So this is what I'm doing for my dashboard. So to do this, you go f, um, comma axis equals plt dot subplot. So it's plt dot subplots two two. That is, I want two down, two across, and this is my dashboard. I'm having four graphs, 
and then I'm going to go fig size 15 by 15 and that's pretty good for a full screen 2 by 2 um, and then I'm going to do a set style for my uh, SNS so that's a Seaborn set style and I'm going to turn that into dark grid and you can have a look on Seaborn just you can just look up Seaborn styles and you can see all the different styles there is. So this is done what I wanted to do. I've got four nice grids through the page. And now you set your graphs into each one of those four. So I'm going to do a bar plot. So I'm going to do snsbarplot into my first figure. So that's going to be the first graph on the left. I'm going to have an X in this bar plot as nationality. So I'm going to have my nationality and then I'm going to have my goals overall. So I'm going to go for goals on the left, assists on the right. And then the data equals this nice filter data that I just found there. So you can either set this to a new name of a, of a uh, data frame or you can just like put in the filtered set here. So that's what I'm just going to put in the filtered set for ease and then AX which is my axis equals axis, which is the name up above. And then you set this axis to which one you want it in. So zero, um, zero is the first axis on the left, which is this one. This one is zero one. This one is one zero and this one is one one. So I've set this graph into the axis zero zero. I'm going to run the cell and you can see now I've got a bar plot. So if I do the same thing um, and instead of goals, put assists, I'm going to change the name of this to fig2 and I'm going to put it into 01. So that's my one on the right. Um, and this is assists overall rather than goals. And I run that cell uh, after I put in the data. So I need the, the assists data, not the goals data gonna paste that in and then I'm gonna run the cell and this one will pop up on the right so great so my dashboard has two uh, graphs now and I'm gonna make a video next time where I'm going to uh, do a lot more styling but that takes a long time and there's lots of different things in that so for now I'm just gonna do four bar graphs and I'm gonna take the um, the player data for this into my data so for this one i've done full name because there's no it's not by nationality in the player graphs i'm going to send it into one one and i've taken my player goals overall greater than two and i just need to put a, a closing bracket on that so there's my player data there again i can just take this change it into figure four and do my assists now so for assists, I'm going to change to figure four. I'm going to take the dad, the filter data set for the assists. And again, you could you could have named all these into a new data frame, but I was a bit lazy. Um, and I'm just going to paste this in. And then I need to change um, assists up above as well on the Y axis. So I've put in my filter data, put in my assist there, change it to one one. And now I've got my four graphs. Now, I don't like the labels on that. So what I can do is I can do plt.xtix and rotate the labels just on the last graph for now. So that is rotation equals 70. And I've changed that. And now my labels are rotated. And to get rid of this array, you just do plt show. So it's plt.show. And, cl and open close brackets and that gets rid of that so really that's it um, that's my four graphs there and the main thing for this video really is how to make a dashboard of four graphs and stick your graphs in we can change these graphs to any graphs we want to and we'll be doing that in the next video but really what I want you to take away from this video is that you can make subplots and you can make a dashboard from that so f access plt.subplot22 make the fig size we could make as many subplots as we want in a dashboard so I could do 3 3 
and that will make three dashboards across and three dashboards down. In the next video, we'll be going into styling and really making this look nicer, different graphs and all that sort of stuff. So until next time, hope you found the video useful and I'll see you very soon for another Python tutorial.